Hey y'all, this is sign application and Ferris wheels. All right, so a Ferris wheel is 50 meters in diameter and is boarded from a platform that is five meters tall and equal to the bottom of the Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel travels counterclockwise and makes one full re revolution every 10 minutes. Assume that the ride starts when a rider is at the nine o'clock position. All right, we're gonna go through this whole process. We're gonna sketch a picture um, and make a table, make a uh, graph, and then um, make an equation, graph it on Desmos. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and sketch this idea of what's happening. We've got a Ferris wheel and we've got ground level right here. So there's our ground, okay? We've got a Ferris wheel that is um, not with the bottom on the ground, okay? And then what we have is a platform in which people actually get, climb up the platform to get onto the ride down here at the bottom. Now, the one thing that, so a few things that it gives us is that the platform is five meters tall. So we know that this is five meters which means that the bottom height is uh, five meters, okay? And then it also tells us that the wheel is 50 meters in diameter. So that tells us if we go up 50 meters, okay, um, we're gonna have a different height at the top. It is not gonna be 50 at the top, it's gonna be 50 um, plus five, which will be the top of the Ferris wheel. So we will have 55, and that's gonna be super important as we do this. So 55 meters is gonna be the top. Now, in the previous video, we talked about the heights that are the easiest to get are the quarters, right? So we have to find the middle height. Well, we know that if this is 50 meters as a diameter, that the radius is essentially 25. And if we want to find the middle height, we can say, well, let's start at 10. I mean, start at five meters and go up another 25. So five plus 25 is going to bring us to 30. Now, the other way to find the mid, remember the mid line essentially is just to say uh, 55, the top plus the bottom, which is 60. And then we cut that in two, which is essentially 60 divided by two is 30, yeah. So our height is 30 meters here at the um, 30 meters. And then this is also 30 meters. Now, the other piece that we need to pay attention to is that we have a time and where do we start? Okay, so in this case, we have the rider and the rider is going to start at the nine o'clock position. So the rider starts here, okay at time equals to zero, that's when the time starts, and they go count counterclockwise, which means they're going in this direction. And every 10 minutes means that, well, we can find the quarters, well, 10 divided by four, okay? And 10 divided by four is just simply 2.5 minutes, okay? So at time equals 2.5, we are here. Time equals to five, we are here. Time equals to 7.5, we are here. And finally, time equals to 10. We are back at the original starting point, okay? So we kind of made a little sketch of what's happening. So let's go ahead and make a table for two full rotations, okay? Um, simple table, it's not uh, complicated. I'm just gonna write, hey, we've got the time and we've got the height because those are our two uh, factors here. And we're just gonna go 0, 2.5, 5, 7.5, 10, 12.5, 15, 17.5, and 20. Now notice that what I'm doing here is I'm going by uh, 2.5s because those are our quarters. And we start at time zero in the nine o'clock position. So that is 30 meters, okay, 30. And then we go all the way down to a height of five meters, right down there, okay? And then we go back up to 30 meters. And then once we're at 30 meters, we go all the way back up to 55. And then at 10 minutes, we go right back down to 30, okay? Now notice, there's the period, okay? So this is our period because we start back over. There's one period, which is the same thing as one rotation. Okay, and then we just follow the same pattern at 12.5, we're back down at five, then 30, then 55, 
and then we're back at 30 again. So there's our second revolution. Okay, so let's go ahead and sketch a picture of this or sketch a picture of our graph and we'll mid note when we'll label all of our pieces. So we have our height. Okay, and we have our time. We just label it out 0, 2.5, 5, 7.5, 10. And then we just keep going 12.5, 15, 17.5 and 20. Um, and then what I like to do is I find my main heights. You'll notice what they are. They're 5, 30, and 55. So I'm going to say 5, make a jump. There's 30, make another jump. There is 55. Remember, this is just a sketch, okay? And I'm going to start making the points on this curve. So remember, at 0, we start at 30. And then we go to 5 on the next point. And then we go back to 30. Then we go back up to 55. And we are back at 30. And there is our first revolution. Okay. And then we have our second revolution, which follows the same pattern. Okay. And we can use those points in order to do that. There's our second revolution that is occurring. And our graph should look something like this. Now, let's go ahead and identify our midline, our amplitude period, B value, and uh, center cosine. We know the midline is right through the middle. So there's our midline right here. So that is going to be y equals to 30. We know the amplitude is the distance from the middle to the maximum or the midline to the minimum. So from 30 to 55 is going to be 55 minus 30, which is 25. It's the radius of the Ferris wheel. So the amplitude is 25. The period, we know one full revolution is 10 minutes. And now remember the B value is the number of periods in 2 pi. So if I want to find the number of periods in 2 pi, I just simply say with a fraction of, uh, of periods in 2 pi, I just go ahead and say, all right, well, let's say the B value is 2 pi divided by the period, or 2 pi divided by 10 in this case. And if we simplify that, it is pi over 5. So the B value is pi over 5. Now, is this sine or cosine? Well, Sine, remember, starts right at the midline on the y-axis, and this does. So this is sine. Now, the one thing we have to do is we need to pay attention to the fact that it is going down. So this is decreasing from uh, x equals 0 on the midline. So this is a negative sine. So I'm going to make sure I put negative sine there. And now let's go ahead and build the equation. So I'm going to write negative. I'm going to put in my amplitude, so negative 25, sine, bring in my B value, pi over 5, x, and then plus the midline, which is 30. So remember, our, our equation is simply y equals to a sine bx plus k. Um, midline is right here. Amplitude. And then there is our B value, which is right there. Okay. Um, once we've got that information, let's go ahead and go to Desmos and let's graph this thing um, because that is part of our assignment today is always checking our work and making sure make things make sense in Desmos. So when I go to Desmos, I'm going to plug all that stuff in. So negative 25 sine. So I'm going to give it a name f of x equals to negative 25 sine. Uh, pi divided by uh, 5x, okay, and then it was plus 30, which was our midline. So let's just check that out. Negative 25 pi divided by 5x plus 30. There's our midline, okay. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my window uh, to show the graph that we have. So it, it, our graph aligns with what we had. Uh, in this problem, we started at time equals zero. We wanted two revolutions, which is uh, approximately 20 minutes or exactly 20 minutes, okay? And we should be able to see that and check it out. Um, we can trace it out. There is 
one revolution and there is a second revolution. So yeah, we have two revolutions. We are in good shape. There is our graph. Um, okay, and let's go ahead and let's go back to class kick. Let's see if there's one more question. There may be. Um, nope, and that's it. And it says screen snip your Desmos graph for two full re re uh, revolutions. So at this point, please make sure you come down into the screen snip and um, make sure that you post your, your equation and your graph, okay? Post your equation and your graph for two full revolutions. Come back to class kick and uh, make sure that when you're in class kick, you just go ahead and um, post that picture on there, that graph, resize it and make it all right, hope that helps with building the equation of sine curves based off of Ferris wheels.